Hey, I just realized I haven't thought of a bit for this week. Uh, wow, this is awkward. So, um, Let's Plays are back, and I still have the same minimal amount of viewers. Uh, so, if we could start a movement or a Kickstarter or something to increase the number of viewers, that'd be fantastic. Also, I need Twitter followers, so follow me at no no Kimbo. Good job. Good job, me. Good bit. Good bit. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to another edition of the Suplas WWE 2K 1430 Years of WrestleMania Let's Play. Last week, we came back with a vengeance and caught up to where we were supposed to be. Then, after I recorded that, let me show you something. Let me show you something. As soon as it's loading. The contest entry time is now over. Damn it! Damn it! Shit! I don't know what contest this is. What is this? If you have been notified by 2K that you are a finalist, please upload your WrestleMania moment, moment to the server no later than 1159, January 19th, 2014. What contest is this? And why is it telling me this? Okay, thanks. Well, I wasn't notified by 2K, so fuck all of y'all. Anyway, see, it's all completed. Yeah, we're all cut up. Everything's fine, right? Here's the thing. See, we're right where we're supposed to be. Here's something a little different. This match isn't 100%ed. You notice that? You notice that? That's because, uh, let me back out here for a second. I had to do all of this all over again. Why is that, you might ask? Why'd I have to do all of this all over again? I'll tell you why. I booted up the game one day. Just felt like playing some universe mode. And, uh, she. <laughs> To my surprise, what did I find? My, my, my save? All of my data? Corrupted. Gone. All of it. Luckily, I didn't have to rebuy any DLC. That was still there. Because that was downloaded to my console. But everything I had done, mainly this, had been gone. Erased. Just vanished. Because 2K... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what causes that. I don't know how to fix it. But if there is a way to fix it, 2K has not figured out what that is. And if there are preventative measures to make sure that doesn't happen, 2K has not figured out how to do that. This is the first time in a wrestling game? Hell, this is the first time in any console-based game that my save data has become corrupted. I... I was speechless. I took a pic- it's tweeted on Twitter. It's tweeted on Twitter. So you can go find the tweet. It's there. I tweeted at 2K. I said, uh, yeah, probably not supposed to happen. Can I get that fixed? It didn't get fixed. I had to redo everything. So, that's great. After wasting five minutes of everyone's time, I think we can just go right into the mode. It is Bret Hart versus Stone Cold, WrestleMania 13. Uh, is this for a championship? WrestleMania 13. Is there a video package to go with this? Imagine that for over a decade, you have fought to reach the pinnacle of your profession. Then you walk away. When you return six months later, nothing is the same. I've been screwed by Shawn Michaels. I've been screwed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. You scratch my back and I'll stab yours. There is no respect. Everybody in that dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Even your fans have changed. At the heart of this change is a man that spits in the face of your every accomplishment. Ever since you came back, you ain't done nothing but he has attacked you physically and verbally. If you put the letter S in front of Hitman, you've had my exact opinion of Bret Hart. This man mocks your legacy. Bret Hart on his best day can't lace my boots. I will beat the hell out of Bret, and that's the bottom line. Injustice after injustice has forced you to snap. Frustrated isn't the word for it. 
Now the finger is pointed at you. You're the one who's changed. He snapped, McMahon! They say your ego is your enemy. There is only one solution. You must make Austin beg for mercy. But what if Stone Cold Steve Austin wins? What becomes of Bret Hitman Hart then? Awesome. That would have been great if I could have heard any of it. See, I keep my TV at a low volume so that the uh, audio from my TV doesn't pick up on the microphone. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I guess when my save data got eliminated from space-time, that also eliminated my options, which had my subtitles on, so I couldn't hear any of that. I was gonna assume it was cool. So, I'm gonna fucking just start the match. I'm angry. Uh, that is cool how it has his... That's cool. With the glass. That's awesome. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know why the logo for this WrestleMania was just an exploding 13. But, uh, you know. Do what you gotta do to sell tickets, I guess. This was in the mid late 90s, so... Oh, it's an explosion! Oh my god, it's so cool! It must be the most hardcore! Uh, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I felt like I had to burp there for a second, but I didn't. Wait, maybe I do. I don't. I fucking hate that. Um, so yeah. I, what I said during the opening bit, I, I don't want to get into that. I, I actually forgot about the bit, but um, what I said there about the Twitter followers, uh, yeah, I have 17 Twitter followers, so if we could bump that up, that'd be great. I, I follow people that have more followers than me. I mean, I think that's typically how it goes, but I don't know what I'm saying here. I host a show on a network that gets 500 views on their main show. I'm on that main show every once in a while. And then I co-host another show on that network that gets 200 views an episode. And Glenn's got plenty of followers. I have 17. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> uh, not like, I don't feel insulted. It's just I don't think many people are aware of my Twitter? That sounds pretentious then. It's like, well, they obviously don't know I have a Twitter account, because if they did know, then I'd have hundreds of thousands of burp, burp, burp. I, I'm, There's no, like, polite way of saying this. I don't know. It's, I'm not trying to be a dick about it. It's like, I should have more Twitter followers. Burp, burp, burp. But I'm wondering why I don't. Ah, oh, God, it's just, it sounds pretentious no matter how I say it. Fuck. Uh... I guess I could stop trying to not be pretentious and then purposely, maybe if I sarcastically sound as pretentious as possible, it'll actually sound better. And my cat, for the love of God, don't you know I do a Let's Play show? I don't have to put up with this shit, I'm too famous. I have 17 Twitter followers, damn it, I can do what I want. <laughs> my cat's so confused. Alright, um, so what are we doing? Just, uh, Limp to fuck. Alright, get Austin a light damage outside the ring within two minutes. Alrighty then. Oh, this is no disqualification, so I can do whatever I want. So I'll use the ring bell, eliminate another uh, goal, stretch goal for our Kickstarter. Kickstarter! Sweet. I don't think no damage is quite accurate. Alright, um, so yeah, I had to redo, I had to like flash redo, not flash, that sounds stupid. I had to like do a marathon of everything I've done throughout every episode in like two hours. It was awful. Alright, Irish whip him into a turnbuckle. I'm guessing that's in the ring. Um, yeah, it was not fun playing this mode in a rush. It's not like I was on a freaking time. I did that like three days ago. It's not like I had to do it right now and then start recording. But I was not happy with it, to say the least. 
Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Is he even moderate yet? I don't think so. Shit. All right. I got lucky there. He could have reversed me into the chair, but for some reason he didn't. Yeah, he's got to be moderate, and he's not yet. So... So only one thing to do is make him moderate. First, he's got to stop reversing our Irish whips. There you go. Get hit. Good job. Good job. Oh, fuck. I'm guessing the reason it told us about limb targeting is we're gonna have to limb target to an extent. Oh, we reversed the move with the moves. Oh, shit. I have so many goddamn games. I'm sorry, I just I record on my laptop. And, uh... Whenever I look at the Audacity, I can occasionally see my desktop while I'm looking at it. Because every once in a while I go check it to make sure I'm not being obnoxiously loud and breaking the the waveforms. Peeking them out. And so every once in a while I look at the Audacity and I'm seeing like all my fucking Steam games on my laptop desktop background. What? That didn't make any sense. Um... <laughs> I just did! Alright. Good. Good job. Oh! I hate this commentary. Oh, right. His legs. Oh, sick! Oh, shit! That's awesome! I guess it's no DQ. This is a perfectly legal hold. That's awesome. He will not submit. He will not submit. Get Austin's legs is critical. All right. What the fuck did I just like try to quote there? Oh wow, he's already orange. All right, good. All right. If you could, someone's gonna move, right? Sweet. I'll just uh. Mark Henry. All right. If you get that reference, that's almost impossible. I say that like people get every single reference I say. It's not the case. Um, but there have been some references I didn't think people would get, and someone got them every time. Not every time. I just said not every time, but... Oh, that teased me for a second. I thought it was at what I needed it to be. It's not! Drop kicks for days. And stone colds in a haze. I like my donuts chocolate glazed. And now I'm stuck inside this maze. Yeah! <laughs> oh shit! I don't think that was accurate. Oh, no. Come on. Come on, you silly bastard. Let's do some shit. Let's dance. Broski. Woo! I only did one woo for some reason. Zack Flair. Rick Ryder. Ooh, Rick Ryder. That sounds like a rapper. But it's actually just a combination of two of the silliest gimmicks in wrestling history. Rick Ryder. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, no, he's reversing things again. Rick Ryder, save me with your sick beats. <laughs> Oh my god, how many times do I have to hit your legs before you become crippled? Where's Chris Benoit when you need him? That's... I don't know. <laughs> Kevin Sullivan. I just said the name Kevin Sullivan with no context. Um, Keelan, as most of you probably know by now, if you pay attention to the Supla channel, which you should, because it's endless great content, but uh, Keelan Balderson, the uh, editor of wrestling pundit win with the sharpshooter all right so i'm gonna do this oh all right keelan's got this series about chris benoit and all the theories and soup uh i don't know just all the different theories about him and but he still didn't give up i just don't know what he's got in him it's it's just 
It's outstanding. It's so inspirational. He just refuses to tap. Um, this is actually one of the most brilliant endings in a, in a long time. Oh, he tried to do it, but he still couldn't do it because those legs, man, they're hooked. It's a really good ending to a match. Um, well, I don't know if people at the time maybe felt ripped off. It's like, no one tapped, though. It's not the same. I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> I like how he was squirming there for a second, and then all of a sudden he passed out. It's like, er, er. No more, no more. He's had enough. It is all over. The boyhood dream has come true for Bret Hart. Anyway, um, Keelan, yeah, does the series about Chris Benoit. It's called the Chris Benoit Files. Kind of like the X-Files. Or at least I think that's the reference he's going for. And then Bret Hart beats the shit out of him some more. Trying to put him in a wheelchair. Trying to end the Austin era before it even begins, really. I guess that didn't really start till next year. But anyway, uh, the first episode was about the mysterious Wikipedia entry. And then the second episode just came out uh, today, or maybe yesterday, I'm not entirely sure. I just saw it today. But uh, it was about the Kevin Sullivan theory. I'm not going to explain it to you, because you should go check it out. Uh, 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 you should go check it out on the Supla y YouTube channel. Uh, the first episode's kind of like a shoot type of non-scripted thing. Great, more achievements. I love achievements. 30 G's. Complete all the hidden objectives in WrestleMania 13. Uh, complete Chapter 2. Awesome. So I quickly gotta go back to the menu anyway. Cause I gotta go to the options and turn on subtitles. Difficulty. I gotta put it on hard, I guess. Blood on. Auto save on. Adrenaline on. Tips. I'm gonna leave tips on, but I don't know. Anyway, Keelan's got that cool series. Let's go check it out. Oh, okay. I forgot about this match. I thought we were just gonna go straight to Sean and Austin. As the Monday Night Wars escalated, superstars began to jump ship to the WWE's rival, WCW. Get ready for the ride of your life. Ooh, yeah! This is where the big boys play, huh? We ain't here to play. With every departure, the WWE rose to the occasion to bring in fresh new superstars to entertain the WWE universe. Are you ready? This isn't about the color of my skin. This is about respect. You can kiss my ass. In order to combat WCW, the WWE changed its attitude. Gone were the days of vitamins, prayers, and Hulkamaniacs. These antiquated concepts were replaced by tables, ladders, chairs, and... A big fat can of whoop ass! Give me a hell yeah! Have a nice day! Know your role and shut your mouth! As the ratings war escalated, there were seemingly no boundaries that were off limits. We have seen the enemy. This mission will start with WCW wrestling. The Monday Night Wars were underway. And the world would never be the same again. Man, watching that video package, there were so many quotes I wanted to just spit out, but uh, I contained myself. Uh, thank God for things like Hulk Hogan leaving and Bret Hart leaving and all that. Uh, thank God for that stuff because Attitude Era, man. It's a great era. Not my favorite, but up there. It's my second favorite. I'm sure a bunch of people just clicked unsubscribe or dislike and all that shit because I said Attitude Era is not my favorite. Get over yourselves. You weren't a part of it. I mean, maybe you grew up during it, but you weren't there. You don't know me. You know what I've been through, man. I mean, I miss the Attitude Era. Then again, I, I didn't, I didn't watch wrestling until fucking 2011. 
So, uh, what can I fucking say? What my favorite era was, as far as I... As far as I'm concerned, I should be a member of the C-Nation, for Christ's sake, but, uh... It's, uh... I guess I should probably say what my favorite era is. I preferred, just slightly, just slightly, I preferred the, um, Ruthless Aggression era. Now, a lot of people don't know what that is, because... For some reason, they decide that this is, like, an unnamed era. But the Ruthless Aggression is what came after, like, right after Attitude. It was like that 2002, or late 2001, up until like 2006-ish. And then came the Weird Era, which was like a, a one-year period. And then it became PG. But I mean, it was kind of already PG anyway. But it became like, we're not even going to try to be anything but. But my favorite's probably Ruthless Aggression, because you got that, like... You got all those people back when they were young and actually interesting, like Cena and Orton. And you got Brock Lesnar at his peak. Kurt Angle with some of the best matches he's ever had. Eddie Guerrero with the same. Chris Benoit with the same, even though people are fucking peeing their pants over his name. Uh, listen, I understand the concept of if you celebrate Chris Benoit, you're celebrating the crime. I get that. But, if we can move before the crime for a second, he was a phenomenal talent. That's all I'm going to say. And some of his matches in that period of time were fantastic. Uh, not that there weren't great matches and great characters in the Attitude Era. There were. There were some of the best. But, my personal taste and interest, I loved the Attitude Era. I have nothing against it. I just slightly, slightly, slightly preferred the Ruthless Aggression Era. And I don't really know why, to be honest. Great characters, great stories, but, I mean, Attitude Era had the same thing, you could argue. And you're right, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, don't shoot me, please. Plus, you had the Biker Undertaker. Which was more prominent in Ruthless Aggression. I mean, yeah, he was kind of at the tail end of the Attitude Era. But he was more so a Ruthless Aggression. Okay. I was not prepared to start that close to Kane. Uh, perform a chokeslam and three tombstones. This is the fucking match from the Attitude Era mode that Glenn was talking about. God damn it. I hated this match. Four finishes? Are you shitting me? Hold on. Maybe it's not four finishes. Maybe it's, um... What am I doing? Match information, ability lists. No, that's not it. Special moves. It is. Okay. No, it is. All right, great. So I got to do four finishes. Fantastic. Son of a bitch. Uh, see, like, this match is entirely unnecessary. I mean, yeah, it's a WrestleMania match. It's WrestleMania mode, but fuck you. Four finishers. At least... They didn't have the balls to put a time limit on this. That is the one positive I can say about this match. Oh, no. This isn't the match where Paul Bear screwed me over 16 times, is it? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the Attitude Era Let's Plays. Or don't, because they were terrible. But, some of the best moments in my Let's Play career, if you can call it that, uh, were in that series. And... One of them was Paul Bear. I don't know who I was. It might, I was either Stone Cold or The Undertaker. So I don't know which match it was. There wasn't a Stone Cold versus Kane one, but that might have been a different match. I'm not making much sense. There was a Stone Cold versus Kane match where, if you know the moment that I'm talking about, that's where... Why did he kick out at one? That's where that happened. But I'm not sure if it was a different match or the same match where... Every single time I tried to pin Kane, Paul Bearer got up on the ropes, and the ref would never stop him. He never got ejected. So, it just pissed me off more and more. That I couldn't do anything about it. And I would try go beating up Paul Bearer, it just wouldn't do anything. He would just get right back up, no sell it, everything would be peachy again. Except not peachy, more like I'm furious. Uh, anyway. No, I think that was the Stone Cold match. 
but whatever. I'm just gonna taunt because this is miserable. This is, match stipulations like this are fucking ag. What just happened to me? What just happened to me? I kind of like <laughs> in the ropes and then like got spat out by physics. The fuck was that? I'm gonna pray that that never happens again. Oh god. Signature, get in here, you fuck. No, don't stop running in circles. Jesus Christ, Kane. This is why you're the brother that loses. Anyway, there's the choke slam. So now I can start taunting again. Get ready for three tombstones. Christ on a flapjack. Ah, oh, fuck. No, stop it. Stop. Fuck. No. Balls. Stop it. Stop it. There you go. Uh, I was telling the story. Ruthless aggression. I don't know. I don't know why I prefer it. It's, uh... I don't know. Something about the younger... I mean, here's the thing. The Attitude Era guys aren't the old selfish pricks they are now. Or they weren't, I should say. They weren't the, uh, the old spotlight hogs... <laughs> Triple H that they are now. It's just that I don't know. If I had ill will towards them for what they did then, because of what they're doing now, then I shouldn't like the ruthless aggression era anymore because of people like Orton, Cena, and Lesnar, and Angle. But I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something about the ruthless aggression era appeals to me slightly more. Uh, that's all I can say about it. And so now I'm going to do the first tombstone of three. Swear to God, if this gets reversed. Thank you. Let's taunt again because I've got nothing better to do. This is fun. This is so much fun, you guys. This is fun. Grinding momentum for four finishers. This is what fun is. You seeing fun? This is fun right here. This. This. Look at it. Look at the fun. I'm having so much of it. You fucking get in the corner! To punch the shit out of you! Sorry, cat. What's wrong? Johnny, you getting scared because of my yelling? I'm sorry. This is not fun. Corey Ledesma, I blame you. You could have tweaked this. Or just left it out. Because you knew. Because you were in the game last year. Not in it. You were working on it last year. You knew that this wasn't fun. But you put it in again anyway because fuck it. Money. Money's better than fun. Greed over gameplay, as Angry Joe so gently put it. Even though this one match in particular made you no more money than any other match in the game. And adding it or subtracting it would not have done anything to your profits. In fact, subtracting it probably would have increased profit because the cost of making the game would have been slightly, slightly lower. So I don't know what your motivation was for putting this game in. Well, if there's more content, then they can't complain. Bullshit! I can complain all day because the content sucks. That's what people always complain about the length of a game. It's like, oh, it's only an eight-hour campaign. Well, what would you prefer? An eight-hour, or let's even say six-hour good campaign that was fun and enjoyable and inter not interactive. Like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just, alright, a, a fun, enticing six-hour campaign, or a bullshit grind-fest, snore-bore-fest, 60-hour campaign with side missions and uninspired characters. That's not a stab at any particular game. I'm, there are 60-hour games that I love. I love Skyrim and all that shit, but it's quality over quantity when it comes to video games and movies and books and most things <laughs> when it comes to interactive media video games it is easily quality over quantity so what the po the main point of all this is this match is stupid and it shouldn't be in the game I don't care that it's a famous WrestleMania match it sucks 
Not the match sucks, but the fucking historical objectives that they would have to put in it to be historically accurate, which is stupid. Those suck. Just take the fucking match out. Oh no, bear hug. Shit. Oh, I had a rope break. I never get a rope break from a bear hug. For some reason, the arms glitch out and don't register on the ropes. Oh, fuck you. I was doing so good for for three out of four finishes, and then on this fourth one, I just can't get anything going. Kane, why are you just walking into my midsection like that? Fucking Christ almighty. Thank you. I swear if he reverses this, I'm going to kill a cat. So, Gianna, you better get out of here. Because odds are that I just said that. It's probably going to happen. Oh, please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you. Just do it. One, two, three. Oh, I was so ready for him to kick out. Oh, thank God. That was just like, it, it went by simple enough. Nothing too aggravating happened. But it wasn't an enjoyable experience because I spent the whole time just grinding to get those four finishers. It's a mess. Taken to my limits? I mauled the guy up until the last two seconds. And I got hit a couple times. But then I hit the fourth finisher. God damn! Stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid. <sighs> what is this? Stone Cold versus The Rock at WrestleMania 15. Wait a minute. What? What? Uh Hold on! Hold the fucking phone! Okay, so Mr. Ledesma, this is a personal chat to you for a moment. As we all know, first of all, let me back up. WrestleMania 14. What is the first match everyone thinks of from WrestleMania 14? You done thinking about it? Okay, I got my answer. I don't know what yours is, but my answer is the WWE Championship match between Stone Cold and Shawn Michaels with Mike Tyson as the special guest enforcer. So, what match do people maybe think about? Maybe, but probably not. Especially with newer fans who are probably going to be the people playing this game. What match do they not really know existed? Kane versus The Undertaker where there were four different finishers? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe a lot of people know about the match. I don't know. But, um, see, the main event is slightly more important and slightly more historical. Uh, so, <laughs> wow. You had the balls to copy and paste an entire match with the worst, most boring historical objectives. You just copy and pasted it from last year's game. And, but, but, it was too much work to add Mike Tyson to the game again so that you could make that match happen. In the WrestleMania mode, the entire game mode dedicated to the great matches of WrestleMania history, you left out one of the biggest main events of all time. Because you didn't want to put Mike Tyson in the game? Well, that's bullshit. Because you didn't have to put Mike Tyson in the game. Now, you may be thinking, oh, no, no, no. If they're in the match, if they're in the mode, then they have to be a playable character or at least a playable manager or ref or something. Right? I get it. But that's false. You want to know why that's false? Because Rowdy Roddy Piper ain't in the fucking game. He's nowhere in this game. But guess what? He was a special guest referee in one of our matches not too long ago. So you could have put Mike Tyson in that match without making him a character in the game. You did it for Roddy Piper. 
Why couldn't you do it for Mike Tyson so that you could make that match? You copy-pasted one match that probably not a lot of people wanted. But you couldn't bring yourself to just copy-paste another one that I'm pretty sure a lot of people wanted? Fuck you! Fuck you, Ludesma. Fuck you, 2K. I'm pissed off now. I am angry. That is horse shit. Damn it. You fucks. Fuck you. Fuck. God. Alright, what the fuck is this? Championship Austin vs. The Rock. It's great. Fine. Whatever. What the fuck ever. God damn it. Pieces of shit. You greedy. I don't even know if you're greedy. You're probably just lazy. I just debunked the theory that you're greedy. You copy pasted an entire match that you could have just left out, saved yourself money. But instead of saving money on that match, you saved money on the main event. What? If it was a shitty main event, that's one thing. If you wanted to leave out John Cena versus The Miz from WrestleMania 27, that's one thing. That was a shitty match that no one will ever remember. But Stone Cold versus Shawn Michaels? Really? You're a bunch of idiots, aren't you? God sakes! Unbelievable! I don't even know what quality that is. Is it selfish? Is it greedy? Is it lazy? Is it all of the above? Did you just forget? Are you just stupid? I, I don't know. I don't know. Did you spend all your budget on getting JR to do shitty commentary for your game? So you didn't have enough money to get Shawn Michaels versus Stone Cold? You didn't, have, you didn't have enough money to not actually put Mike Tyson in the game? Just have his model stand there and do nothing? I don't understand. I don't understand. You just had to copy and paste. You already did it. There are examples from things you have already done in this mode that proves there is no excuse for not having that match in the game. No excuse! And you gave your own examples! It's not me digging for things. It's not me reaching for things just to prove a point. It's right there in front of me! You just copy-pasted a game, which me- a game, a match. You just copy-pasted a match from last year's game, which means you can do it. And you just had a match with a special referee that's not playable in the game, which means you can do that too. I don't understand. And that's what it's all about. That's the There's no excuses. Did no one else see this? Because this is the first I'm hearing of it. I mean, yeah, I saw the list of matches when the game was announced, but I didn't specifically look for Sean versus Stone Cold. So the fact that it wasn't there, I didn't catch. Leaning AI against objects. What? Okay. Great. Oh, I should probably see what that is. Get him to moderate damage and lure him to the entrance. Fine. Uh, it's just... I don't know. Fuck you guys. You lazy sons of bitches. Corey, you directed this game. How did you see the progression from 14 to 15 and not realize... That the main event from WrestleMania 14 was missing. Were you just focusing so hard to make sure that you could program that do four finishers thing? Were you just so focused on that that you couldn't remember? This is unbelievable. I've never seen stupidity of this level. This isn't like we forgot to put AI in the game. It's not like we, f we misspelled some dialogue in the subtitles. 
this is like a historical event in the context of the the sport that you're supposed to be simulating here. This is a history simulator, and you left out a bit of history while making sure to include that bit of history that people could have gone without. If people had seen uh, Undertaker vs. Kane from WrestleMania 14 is not in the game, ah, it's kind of shitty, I like that match. Ah, you can go to Attitude Era mode and play it. It's the exact same match. But people, I'm surprised I've not seen anyone say that that match was left out. Am I being stupid? Is that match actually from a different WrestleMania? Because I'm pretty sure it's from the WrestleMania with the cube-shaped logo. And I'm pretty sure the one with the cube-shaped logo was 14. If it's actually from a different WrestleMania that we haven't hit yet, then I'll, I'll put a disclaimer right before this giant rant and uh, censor, not censor myself, but put a disclaimer that I'm just being an idiot. But if I'm right, and that was at WrestleMania 14, and it's not in the game, then that's bullshit. It's straight up bullshit. Okay, he's a moderate. Let's fucking just lure him now. Hey. Follow me, you loser. Hey. Follow me, you loser. Hey. You're a loser. Follow me, because you're a loser. I like how it says lure him. Basically walk to the entrance, because he'll follow you. Oh, okay, so we're just here now. He's going to powerbomb him under the light? No. Oh, but he did interact with it. So you're smart enough to program that. Oh, his leg. Lean the rock against the announce table and grapple him. Okay. Does my leg actually hurt now? Kinda. <laughs> hey, buddy, how was your day? Oh, that's fine. Want to walk home from school together? Sure. Seriously? We just go our separate ways? Are you serious? He's, he, oh, man. It's like he knows where to go, so he's just getting into place. All right, we got to head to the table. I'll, I'll meet you there. It's like, all right. See you, bud. It's like that fucking Looney Tunes bit. Not bit, but like that, you know, how there were reoccurring series on the Looney Tunes. It's like the one with the wolf and the and the sheepdog. I think it's Ralph Wolf and Sam the sheepdog. Where they kill each other day after day. But then they just clock out and go home. That's what that was just there. Oh! And why am I surprised that in a wrestling match when he took a sip from a bottle of water that he spit the water into his opponent's face? Why am I surprised? I'm just kidding. But, uh... Oh! That looks awkward with these no collision models that they put. Oh! That was cool. Wow, my arm's going nuts. By God, my arms are broken in half. Uh, all right, hidden objective. Always fantastic. I don't know. Are they spoilers? Like, really? Spoiler, the Stone Cold wins because you're playing as him. Fucking stupid. Uh, so what's the hidden objectives? All right, whatever. Ah, fuck. I'm trying to do something. It's not working. <sighs> that rant just drained me of all like. I was feeling high energy today, and it's not. Not anymore. Cool. Perform a finisher on the rock and pin him in 10 seconds. All right, great. Oh, I hate this objective with Stone Cold because the stunner sends him, like, squiggling and squaggling in all different directions. Look at... Oh, he flips. No, don't do that. Don't. Stand up. Don't talk to his shoulder. Oh, it didn't start the countdown until the animation was over. That's nice. One. Two. Oh... Is this the WrestleMania moment? And Austin is in shock. He's got a chair. Here comes Mr. McMahon. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, nut shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just socking him. It's mankind. It's mankind with the dirtiest ref shirt ever. Yeah. Oh, that's not the WrestleMania moment? Oh, fuck. Mankind, help me. Help me, mankind. For the love of God. No, 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 no. Mm. Oh, thank God. No! Oh, I reversed it! Get off of me! Oh, that's the WrestleMania moment? Oh, it was waiting for me to do that. No! No! Yes! Nailed it! Go, 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 go! One, two, three! Woo! <sighs> that was fun. Um. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this game is terrible. Austin wins. Austin wins. Austin wins. Austin wins. Austin wins. Austin, he wins. Austin. Oh, wins. A fucking. He's hurt. Oh, God, he's hurt. By God, his face is broken in half. <laughs> How many times am I going to make fun of that line? Oh, yeah, Lawler's a heel. Gotta love it. Lawler had plenty of energy for these fucking shitty commentary segments, but JR was just not having it. <laughs> I don't know, man. That guy's holding two beers at once. Or in one hand, I mean. He's always holding two beers at once, but I mean... Because then when he tips the hand back, at least one of those streams of beer is not going to end up in his mouth. It's going to go all over his face. Look, that's not intelligent. Is this the guy we want our kids looking up to? Jesus Christ, he's going to... He's going to teach them that spills are more fun than learning. I don't know. What the fuck it is time to move out the old... championship against Big Show, against The Rock, and against this man, Mick Foley. Mick Foley is going to WrestleMania. Who will survive the first ever fatal four-way elimination match at WrestleMania? WWE Champion. That was cool. Uh, eliminate Big Show. Alright, so I know I'm not playing as Big Show. I don't know who actually wins this match, and so... I don't know who I'm going to be playing as. But I know it's not Big Show. I figured it wouldn't be Big Show. I'm going to go ahead and guess I'm Mick Foley. And that uh, Cactus Jock... Or whoever he is. Probably just Mick Foley will be uh, winning the match and the championship. Oh, it's blue. Woo. It's like Nega McFoley. I've never seen that before. Whoa. This is weird to me. He's always wearing red flannel. What is this like opposite day McFoley? 
I'm guessing with all this commentary about it, yes. And that's the only line? Okay, good. I'm glad. <laughs> um, WrestleMania 2000, by the way. It's gotta be one of the stupidest names for a WrestleMania ever. Ever. Well, it's the big show. It's the big, big show tonight. I'm wearing a necklace that's too small for me. I'm gonna get strangled by my own jewelry. It's the big show. <laughs> I did not intend for that to actually rhyme. That was pretty good. Uh... Seven foot two, five hundred pounds. Oh god, he's such a big man. At least they didn't cut this match out. In in replacement for, uh, I don't know any other matches from WrestleMania 2000. Uh, I could look it up, but then I would take. Oh, I can look it up. I can look it up because I got the power of Siri. Power of the iPhone. Let's check this out. Let's do this. Some live Siri usage. First, from the big show. All right. What was the match card from WrestleMania 2000? Making his way to the ring. Okay, I found this on the web. All right. Uh, so I don't know if you heard that, but she found some. I found the Wikipedia page about WrestleMania 2000. I don't know why I'm doing this, but fuck it. I like how, oh, that's cool. The poster for WrestleMania 2000 doesn't have the four of these guys on there. Well, it has two of them. It has Triple H and The Rock. Maybe that's not, maybe that's a sign that Mick Foley doesn't win. Uh, commentators announces, does it have the matches on there? Oh, shit. Ah, oh, that's a sad sight. One of the best matches from this card is the Triple Threat Tag Team TLC match between Edge and Christian, the Hardys, and the Dudleys. The first time. Ah, uh, That's great. It's one of my favorite matches ever. Uh... No, I don't want to see the results. I just want to see the match. Is there like a simple place where I can just see the match card? The main event was that, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see the, uh... What other matches are there? The two-fall triple threat match for the WWF Intercontinental and European Championships involving Kurt Angle, Chris Jericho, and Chris Benoit. So I guess the reason they didn't, this match didn't get replaced by anything else from that card is because all the other wrestlers on the card are in TNA or dead. Or not dead, but murderers. Anyway. I have an advantage? How is that? It's an elimination match. Or did he say disadvantage? Either way, it's not really an advantage or disadvantage because, like I said, it's an elimination match. It's not the first to get pinned. In order to completely lose this match, I do have to, at some point, get pinned. Not I, Triple H. Like I said, I'm probably going to end up being McFoley, but... It, that, there's not really a disadvantage... Either way. Or he said advantage. I don't know which one he said. I just saw the word advantage. There might have been diss before it. I don't know. A diss. Like someone just made fun of his mother. What am I saying? Gianna, help. I'm becoming stupid because of this game. Becoming? Ha, huh, it's funny. All right, I'm going to skip the rest of this because Triple H's entrance is long as my dick. Ha. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, fuck it. Who am I already? Am I The Rock? Or am I Mick Foley? I have a feeling I'm Mick Foley. I'm Triple H? Are you serious? He retained? Oh, that's lame. Alright, I'm staying out of here. Oh, do I have to personally eliminate the big show? Fine. Guys, beat him up so I can pin him later. 
I'll just taunt over here and then hit him with a pedigree later. Er, chop. That sucks. Triple H wins this match? That's bullshit. Well, at least I'm not at a disadvantage. I wonder who it comes down to. Me and Mick Foley or me and The Rock? Because obviously it's not me and Mick Foley. Or uh, me and Big Show, I mean. Alright, you get up. Oh, Mick Foley can do another elbow. Just hit each other or something for a second. Let me do this. I have to... There we go. No, 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 no. Fuck. Great, okay, this is going to be a little more difficult than I thought because they're just going to fucking vulture my pins. I guess I'll uh, set up for another one. Plus, he doesn't even seem to be that hurt. No, 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 stop. I don't want to... Fuck. I don't want to fight you right now. I just want to... Oh! Shit. Yeah, he really doesn't seem that... Good thing they're focusing on him instead of fighting me. This makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Hey! Get on me! No, 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 Mick, 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 Mick. Come on! One! Fuck. Took forever to fucking get the... Alright. Please don't reverse this. Shit! Great. And now he's probably gonna choke slam me. I'm gonna lose! Ah, fuck me in the butt. Shit, 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 shit. Alright, I'm safe. I'm good. We're good. It's all good. Fuck you. No! Alright, well, at least it's just me and Big Show. I don't have to worry about Mick stealing the pin. How sad is it? That the world's largest athlete is the first to get pinned. And I probably should make sure no one else gets pinned either. Because I'm probably going to have to pin them too. Oh, the world's largest spine buster. Some shitty shit right there. Come on. One. Two. Three. Got it. Sweet. Grapple the rock near the announce table. Near? Alright, you go that way. I'll go this way. Just shuffle into our positions here. Yay, I did it. Ah, uh, boom. Fuck your covers. Come on. Uh. This is slow. What? That is weird. Mick. Help me for a second. I guess we have a common enemy, I guess, is the thing. Oh, wait. There is something smart he could do, but he didn't do it. Oh, wait. Is that what he did? Did he do what I think he did? Eliminate Mick Foley. Can I eliminate him right here? No. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, what? Rock. While well, you're pointing at your face, I guess I'll pin him. One, two, fuck. Okay, do the rock bottom. Yeah. Sweet. One, two, three. Grapple the rock near the ring steps. Oh, fuck you. How are you only at light damage? Anyway. <laughs> Just kind of went silent there for a second. Uh, still? At least I still have my finish. Is this how Triple H actually won the match? First, let everyone mob on the big show. Then fuck over Mick Foley. And then save a pedigree for The Rock. So this was not that difficult so far. Jesus Christ on rice. Eh. Just get to moderate damage, you fuck. Oh, fuck. Eh. Oh, that one punch did it. Good. Good, I'm glad. Let's go. <laughs> he knows. He knows to get... This is so stupid. What it... Uh, ow. 
extremely physical. Extreme Championship. Oh, burping. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, I'm going to hit this thing that's on top of you, and that'll hurt. It's actually more like protection, really. It's like a giant steel condom. Protects you from chairs, AIDS. It's kind of like... Anticlimactic, almost. What's my other elimination? Grapple the what? The fuck? What are you doing? I don't know my other uh, objective yet. Oh, grapple him critical near the announce table. I guess the mentality is Vince is here. He's probably going to screw Triple H because he doesn't like the fact that he's married to his daughter. I'm assuming that was the mentality of a... of a Mark fan. Oh, shit! But then it turns out he screws The Rock and, like, accepts him into the McMahon family. I'm, I'm just guessing. Since I do know now that I win. And I was going to say, like... I was going to say this is kind of anticlimactic because there's no, like, twist. It's just like, oh, there's this against the odds thing, but he won. Ow! Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, my spine! Ooh! Ooh! That was just all me. Oh, shit! That was all me, too. <laughs> just all me hitting the fuck! Stairs. Not the fuck. The stairs. I don't know why I was mashing buttons there. It wasn't any, uh... It was not a breaking point submission. Ooh, how do you like it, you fuck? Come on. Are you ready for brain tumors? Brain damage, not tumors, you fucking idiot. Come on. We'll do this together, Rock. I lift you and you fall. Seriously, just get to critical. Well, I have a spare finisher in case I need the other one. So I guess I could just do this. Yeah. Pedigree. On your face. Sweet. All right, now I got to take you to the vet. What? Um, you go up there. Get in position, Rocky. Just like we were doing before. Get up. I'm dragging you around and I'm telling you to get up, but you know what I mean. Just grapple him, alright. Just wanted to make sure I didn't screw that up. Uh, oh, suplex? And a rock counter! I said a little early. Oh, here it comes, here comes the salt! Boom! That just kind of looked like it flattened. I mean, it did, but it looked weird. That's it? That's the end? This is the last objective, so whatever McMahon's here to do, we should probably do in this cutscene. Or not. Okay. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Uh, oh, I had to complete the historical objectives to win this match. It's not like they're optional this time. I just noticed that. Right there, match stipulation. Complete the historical objectives and win. Oh, shit. Shit. No! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, you can't beat me. I beat me. That's it. Oh, all right. Thanks for telling me about that part. Here comes Mr. McMahon with a chair. Oh, there it is. I called it. There's no disqualifications. It's an elimination fatal four-way. Can I just pin him off of that? I'm going to just try and pin him off of that. Because that's a cool ending. One, two, oh! My God! The Rock kicked out! What in the hell did we just see? No! No, I don't believe it! This is a damn shame! Son of a bitch! Triple H is gonna win! All because of McMahon! Damn it!
Shit! Damn it! <laughs> I lost it there. I was trying to go for a JR and I just turned into the Jontron. Oh, there it is. The authority before they were cool. Oh, actually, no. This is when they were cool. They're not cool anymore. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> oh, man's like, I want a sub. I want a piece of him. Oh, rock bottom is Steph. Please. Yes. That's awesome. Oh, not quite. Rock bottom to Vince, though. Hell yeah. Oh, not ha no. Yep. I thought. At least people's elbows, somebody. Whether it be Vince, Triple H, or Stephanie, someone gets an elbow. Please. I like how Triple H just won this match, but Rock is cleaning house against three people. And Steph's just sitting there like, I don't give a shit. Somebody do something. Like Stephanie right there. Somebody do something. Oh, Daddy, I wish I could have helped, but he was just... I couldn't move. He was intimidating me with his eyes. I was... Paralyzed with fear. That's yeah, that's it. That's what I'll go with. See, they did call it WrestleMania 16, but for some reason they felt the need to also call it WrestleMania 2000 and give it the shittiest name of all time. I don't know. Anyway, I'm done. This episode's gone on long enough, and I've been ranting and raving for half of it, so. Thank you all for watching. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right here, the Supla. Uh, you get loads of fantastic content like. Uh, Keelan's Chris Benoit Files and uh, the Supla every two weeks starting on the 15th which uh, also tune in for the uh, January 15th edition which will be the return of the hiatus from the hiatus but it was planned it was on purpose not like my fucking let's play hiatus where I was just like I don't know how to fix it but um, make sure to tune into that episode because not only is it a return from hiatus but Liam's apparently said that there's some great story to be told. And also, it's the end of year awards. A little bit later than usual, but still, they're always a great show. Better than the Slammies, that's for sure. Uh, also, because of the end of year awards, make sure to vote for me as co-host of the year. Because I put up with all this shit for all of you. So, <laughs> that's a good reason. Um, <laughs> Also, if you like me, you like my commentary stylings, you like everything I put up with for you people, head over to my personal YouTube channel, youtube.com slash nonokimbo, where I put up a ton of great Let's Plays. I just put up a couple. Even though, After all this time of saying, I'm going to put up new stuff, I'm going to put up new stuff for months and months and years, I finally put up uh, two new ones, and there's another one on the way. Uh, one of them's an awful game, and the other one's actually not bad. <laughs> so go check those out. Part two is coming to the good game. So check that out. Uh... Also, follow me on Twitter, because I, don't, I have 17 Twitter followers, and I don't like that. I don't like that fact of life. I want to fix it. Not fix it, but change it. Uh, mostly fix it, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to go take some aspirin for the giant headache that the stupidity of 2K has given me. Uh, so, make sure to tune in for all the future endeavors of stupidity from both me and 2K every Saturday. Although this one came out a tad late. Uh... Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next week.